Okay, so uh, this video we're just going to do a couple of identities that use the double angle rules. So you can see the double angle rules there on the right hand side. And I'll start with a simpler one, uh, which you can see we've got sine of 2x over 2 sine x should always be equal to cosine of x. So uh, I'm just going to pick the left hand side as my starting point because that looks more complex. And then I'm just going to expand that uh, top line there using the first double angle formula, which means it should be 2 sine x cosine x over 2 sine x. And you can see that they will just cancel out, which leaves us exactly what we want. Therefore, the right hand side and we're done. So that was a nice straightforward um, one where we just substitute in one of the formulae and then cancel out. Now the second one's a little bit trickier um, because we're looking at, you can see the angle on the right hand side is A over 2 and the angles on the left are A. Now what that means is this A here is twice this angle here. So it is kind of like a double angle rule. Uh, so we can actually use that. So I'm going to sort of pretend that this A is the the, uh, the 2A. And um, the other thing that's a bit different here is with the cosine, you can see there are actually three possible rules we could um, choose from. Uh, I'm going to try the top one. And sometimes what you'll find is you'll start working on one of these and there's just, um, you might go down the wrong track and it just takes you nowhere and then you just try another one of the rules. So with this first one, I'm just going to say, right, my left hand side is equal to this thing here. Um, over sine A. And then when I rewrite that, I'm going to have 1 plus. Now I'm going to use the top one, so that's cosine squared. And remember, half of that angle is A over 2. And then we're taking away sine squared of A over 2. And then the whole thing is over. Now I'm going to use the top double angle formula. That will be 2 sine A over 2 and cosine over 2. Um, oh, and that does not look that friendly, but this is where you can get a bit tricky. We know that sine squared of an angle plus cosine squared of an angle will always equal 1. That's one of those really those first identities that we learnt. So what we can do now is we can replace that 1 out the front with that. So we'll have sine squared of A over 2 plus cosine squared of A over 2. And then we've got the rest of that top line, cosine squared over 2. I know that's a bit of a mouthful, but we're getting there. Um, and then the bottom line. So this is, you can see this is obviously a lot more involved than the previous one. Uh, but the good thing is here now, the sine squareds actually cancel out. And that leaves us with two lots of cosine squared over 2. And on the bottom, we have this lot. Now, couple of things are going to cancel out. We know the twos will cancel out, but we also know that one of these cosines will cancel out. So we're going to be left with cosine of A over 2 over sine of A over 2. And while that doesn't seem that useful, I get well, hopefully it seems useful, but um, that is actually, remember, that tan of an angle is equal to sine over cosine. And this is the uh, reciprocal of that. And cotangent, or cot, is the same as 1 over tan. So that would be cosine over sine. And you can see that is what we've got here. So therefore, we've been left with cot, cot of over 2, which was what we wanted, wanted which was the right-hand side. And we're done. So you can see your knowledge of um, some of those basic identities were very, very useful. Um, this one here with the sine squared, cos squared, uh, and also then knowing tan is the same as sine over cos. They will come in handy over and over again. Anyway, there's two identities. Um, good luck with a few of those yourselves.